China has astonished the world by turning what seemed impossible into reality, making ships climb mountains. While it may sound absurd, this is actually a marvel of intelligence and technology, demonstrating humanity's ability to conquer nature. Currently, China leads the world in hydroelectric power production, accounting for about one-third of the global total, with an astonishing capacity of 391-1360 GW. When it comes to hydroelectric power, the Three Gorges Dam cannot be overlooked. It is the largest hydroelectric plant on the planet, boasting an enormous installed capacity of 22.5 GW. Beyond the Three Gorges, China is also home to several other massive hydroelectric dams, occupying all five top spots globally. Thanks to these grand structures, ships can now navigate rugged terrain and traverse mountainous regions with ease, opening a new chapter in waterway transportation. But how is this incredible feat accomplished? Let's find out in today's video. Shiplift, a 21st century engineering marvel. China is home to a series of massive shiplifts, state-of-the-art machines that play a crucial role in transporting passengers and cargo across hydroelectric dams. One of the most remarkable projects is the shiplift system at the Gubatan Hydropower Dam in Guizhou Province, an impressive engineering achievement completed in 2021. Imagine a gigantic ship slowly entering a high-rise structure on the waterway, only to be suddenly lifted into the air, seemingly floating in mid-air. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie, but real-world technology applied at the Gupitan Shiplift System, located on the Wu River, a tributary of the Yangtze. This engineering marvel is designed to help cargo vessels move efficiently between Guizhou and Chongqing, by overcoming the height difference of the dam. Inside the system lies a vast network of massive cables, sturdy gear mechanisms, and dual anti-rotation rails, functioning similarly to an elevator in a skyscraper. However, instead of carrying people, it can lift entire ships weighing up to 500 tons in just 10 minutes. Remarkably, this system is capable of handling a load of up to 1,800 tons, an astonishing feat for any shiplift worldwide. A standard vessel can be raised to a height of 72 meters, equivalent to a 26-story building. As water levels fluctuate, the system can lift ships as high as 79 meters, taller than the legendary Great Pyramid of Giza. But the most impressive part is yet to come. The system consists of three consecutive lifts, with the second one raising ships to a staggering height of 127 meters, equivalent to a 66-story skyscraper. At this altitude, even the Statue of Liberty, 93 meters, appears dwarfed. Once the vessel reaches its peak height, the third lift gently lowers it down, allowing it to continue its journey on the other side of the dam with a maximum descent of 47 meters. While this system may not match the free-flowing nature of large rivers, where multiple ships can travel simultaneously, it is still regarded as a groundbreaking technological innovation. Thanks to its optimized design, operations run continuously. Just as one vessel exits the first lift, another is ready to enter, ensuring an uninterrupted flow of maritime traffic. More than just an extraordinary feat of engineering, the Gupitan ship lift stands as a testament to China's creativity and technological progress. It also marks the first time the country has integrated a waterway transport solution with a tunnel system through mountains, an enormous leap forward in construction engineering. Standing before this monumental structure, there's no denying that it is truly a 21st century engineering marvel. Aqueduct, the engineering wonder that guides ships through mountains. Among the world's most remarkable transportation projects, China's aqueduct system, combined with ship lifts, stands as one of the most astonishing innovations. More than just a waterway for vessel navigation, this project is a testament to human ingenuity in conquering nature's challenges. To help ships traverse rugged terrain, Chinese engineers constructed three massive hydraulic lifts that raise and lower vessels between different water levels, replacing traditional lock systems. However, towering mountain ranges between these lifts posed a significant obstacle, making direct navigation impossible. Faced with this challenge, engineers devised a bold solution building an open-air aqueduct, an engineering marvel rarely seen in the world. An aqueduct is essentially an elevated artificial canal 
that allows ships to glide across the landscape as if traveling on a massive bridge. Since ancient times, aqueducts have been used to transport water for domestic use and agriculture. However, constructing one capable of carrying ships over treacherous mountain ranges was unprecedented. To complete this extraordinary waterway, engineers employed massive tunnel boring machines to carve through mountains while integrating elevated aqueducts, forming a 2.3 kilometer long route that connects the ship lifts. Part of the canal runs through mountain interiors, while the rest spans across valleys, allowing ships to travel smoothly without relying on an overly complex lifting system. This project not only showcases cutting edge engineering, but also revives ancient ideas to optimize modern water transportation. Of course, the cost of constructing such a system is immense, but the benefits are truly remarkable. Now amid breathtaking mountain landscapes, this waterway operates daily, enabling ships to traverse the peaks in a way never before seen in history. This is more than just a transportation project. It is a true marvel of modern engineering. Gupitan Dam, a hydropower marvel, amidst majestic mountains. Nestled within a breathtaking mountainous landscape, the Gupitan Dam stands as one of China's most remarkable hydropower projects of the 21st century. Construction began in 2003 and was completed in 2009, featuring a sturdy arch design that towers over the vast natural surroundings. At first glance, Gupitan may remind many of Baihetan Dam, another major Chinese hydropower project with a similar design. However, despite their resemblance, these two dams differ significantly in scale and operational efficiency. Gupitan is particularly notable for its unique shiplift system, standing 231 meters tall and spanning 558 meters in length. However, when compared to Baihetan, which reaches 290 meters in height and extends 710 meters in length, Gupitan appears relatively modest. Beyond their size differences, their power generation capacities are also vastly different. Baihetan ranks among the world's most powerful hydropower plants, boasting a total capacity of 16,000 millibars, while Gupitan generates only 3,000 millibar, a fraction of Baihetan's output. The gap becomes even more striking in terms of annual electricity production. Baihetan generates 62.4 billion kilowatts, whereas Gupitan does not even reach 10 billion kilowatts. So, what makes Gupitan truly special? Its most remarkable feature lies not in its scale or electricity generation capacity, but in its exceptional ship transport system. This structure enables vessels to navigate through rugged mountainous terrain, an otherwise seemingly impossible feat. However, from an economic and energy perspective, some may question whether investing massive resources into a dam with a relatively modest power output is truly worthwhile. To answer this, we must examine the dam's location and its ship lift system. The region's narrow space poses significant challenges for waterway navigation, rendering traditional lock systems nearly unfeasible. This forced engineers to seek alternative solutions. China successfully built Gupitan with the primary goal of regulating the river's flow, creating a reservoir on one side while elevating water levels on the other. However, this flow restriction led to fluctuating water levels. In particular, at the Gupitan hydropower plant, the water level dropped so significantly that maintaining normal operations became nearly impossible. As a result, several initial plans had to be abandoned, leaving only a single shiplift system in place. However, raising ships to such heights requires considerable time and comes with potential risks. This raises an important question. Was constructing a dam and hydropower plant here truly necessary, or could a more cost-effective alternative have been implemented? To delve deeper, we turn our attention to Guizhou Province, home to the Wu River and a hydropower system featuring three-tiered ship lifts. Located on the yunnan guizhou Plateau at an average altitude of 1,100 meters, Guizhou is predominantly mountainous, with over 92% of its land fragmented by mountain ranges. This challenging topography makes traditional transportation infrastructure exceptionally difficult to develop. Additionally, the region's intricate river network further complicates waterway navigation. To address these challenges, 
China introduced innovative solutions such as a three-tier shiplift system. While constructing dams in such areas may not always be the most optimal decision, the region possesses immense hydropower potential. In fact, hydropower remains a crucial energy source for China, especially in Guizhou. With an estimated potential of 18.7 million kelid, ranking sixth nationwide, local authorities have been striving to maximize its utilization. For instance, the Wu River currently hosts eight hydropower plants with a combined capacity of 8,500 metablas, including Gupatan. This effort aligns with China's broader energy transition strategy aimed at achieving sustainable development. According to the National Energy Plan, renewable energy usage is set to increase significantly by 2030, and by 2035, clean energy will constitute a substantial portion of the country's total energy supply. Therefore, optimizing hydropower resources remains the most viable choice for this region. The Wu River, a crucial tributary of the Yangtze River, plays an indispensable role in China's waterway transportation system. As the longest river flowing entirely within China, the Yangtze River covers nearly one-fifth of the country's land area and supports nearly one-third of its population. The Yangtze River Delta alone contributes approximately 20% of China's total GDP, underscoring the vital importance of river systems to the national economy. It is no surprise, then, that these riverine transport routes have become lifelines for both passenger and freight transportation on a massive scale. The Wu River and its tributaries connect regions lacking extensive transportation infrastructure, forming an expansive inland waterway network. Notably, the Gupatan hydropower plant's shiplift system can handle up to 2.9228 million tons of cargo annually, making transportation significantly more efficient than other methods. For example, a standard truck carries about 23 tons of cargo, whereas a single barge can replace dozens of trucks. This not only reduces transportation costs, but also conserves significant amounts of energy. In mountainous regions where road networks are narrow, treacherous, and costly to expand, water transport emerges as the optimal solution, offering faster, safer, and more fuel-efficient alternatives compared to trucks or trains. All these factors contribute to an efficient transportation system that drives regional development. While challenges remain, projects like Gupitan showcase human ingenuity in harnessing natural resources and promoting sustainable progress. Exploring these engineering wonders is undoubtedly an unforgettable experience. Three Gorges Dam, a marvelous engineering feat, affirming China's technical prowess, Throughout human history, certain constructions have transcended their functional purpose to become symbols of intelligence, innovation, and humanity's ability to conquer nature. The Three Gorges Dam, one of the largest hydroelectric projects in the world, stands as a remarkable testament to this reality. With its colossal scale and state-of-the-art technology, this engineering marvel not only plays a crucial role in flood control and power generation, but also significantly boosts China's economy, transportation, and waterway logistics. Situated on the mighty Yangtze River, the Three Gorges Dam is not just an energy project, it is a pinnacle of hydraulic engineering. Designed to optimize water resource utilization, the dam generates a staggering 84.7 terawatt-hours of electricity annually, supplying power to millions of households. However, its most astonishing aspect is not just its power generation capacity, but its revolutionary waterway transportation system, particularly the shiplift, one of the most advanced and unique technologies in the world. Before the shiplift was put into operation, vessels crossing the Three Gorges Dam had to rely on a multi-tiered lock system. This system consisted of two sets of locks, each with five stages, allowing large cargo ships to navigate the dam. However, this method had a significant drawback. It took up to four hours to complete the passage, causing major delays in freight transportation. With China's rapidly expanding economy, this inefficiency became a critical issue in need of an innovative solution. The shiplift emerged as the perfect answer to this challenge. As the world's largest shiplift, it can elevate vessels weighing up to 3,000 tons in just 40 minutes, six times faster than the traditional lock system. This advancement not only enhances transport efficiency, but also significantly reduces shipping costs and transit times, 
creating a profound impact on China's economy. This monumental ship lift features an impressive and highly precise design. The reservoir chamber is nearly 120 meters long and 18 meters wide, with a capacity equivalent to four Olympic-sized swimming pools, ensuring the safe passage of various types of ships. To lift ships weighing thousands of tons to a height of 113 meters, the system employs cutting-edge hydraulic lifting mechanisms alongside four symmetrical motion structures. Beyond operational efficiency, Chinese engineers have prioritized safety in the ship lift's design. The system is equipped with shock-absorbing structures that mitigate vibrations, ensuring stability under all weather conditions. Thanks to its robust gear and rack mechanisms, the ship chamber remains perfectly stable, preventing shaking or misalignment. Notably, in the event of an earthquake, the anti-seismic pillar system disperses impact forces, preventing structural collapse. Modern cushioning mechanisms and shock-absorbing systems are also integrated to absorb strong seismic shocks. According to project engineers, in the case of a major earthquake, the seismic forces would be transmitted through the load-bearing columns, ensuring maximum safety for the entire system. This proves that the Three Gorges Dam's shiplift is not only a technical masterpiece, but also one of the safest engineering structures in the world. Since its launch, the shiplift has revolutionized China's inland water transport industry. According to Jay Shipping Company, in just the first half of the year, cargo volume passing through the Three Gorges Dam reached 84.115 million tons, an increase of 9.32% compared to the previous year. By 2022, this figure had exceeded 159.5 million tons, highlighting the dam's crucial role in the national economy. Beyond speeding up transportation, the ship lift has drastically reduced logistics costs, enabling businesses to expand operations and strengthen their competitiveness in the global market. By cutting transit time from four hours to just 40 minutes, goods circulate faster, optimizing supply chains, and fueling rapid growth across related industries. The Three Gorges Dam is more than just a grand technical achievement. It embodies the spirit of creativity and humanity's determination to conquer nature. Innovations such as the ship lift and the massive hydroelectric system have transformed once insurmountable challenges into extraordinary feats of engineering. Beyond water control, electricity production, and transportation optimization, the Three Gorges Dam heralds a new era in which humans can intelligently and sustainably manage natural forces. This project is not only a monumental achievement for China, but also an inspiration for future generations of engineers to continue exploring, innovating, and building marvels that leave a lasting mark on human civilization. If you found this article valuable, don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating content, share it with your friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day and see you on the next journey of discovery.